out and I figured since I'm already all dressed up, I might as well just do a video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the two other videos that I posted was how to ship shoes and the other one was my weekly sales, which was not a great sale week, but you guys will learn from my mistakes. So this is my very first Dollar Tree haul. I don't even know, like, is there a good way to do these hauls or is there a normal way? So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I got. Now, some of these items that I bought are for my eBay store and my Amazon, so I use them for both. Um, I don't really have... Oh something else <laughs> okay so I don't really have like um like a store I have more of like a merchant account so the first items that I got I have four of these I thought I had four I guess I already I had there's one more I must have lost it in my car so I bought three of these they're the storage glade uh, they're 10 and they're about a gallon, so they're large. And these are really good at the dollar store. I got them for one buck. And what I do is I put, like, my dresses that I sell, uh, men's T-shirts, jackets. Sometimes it can easily fit a, not really, like, a really sturdy jacket, but a lightweight jacket, a sweater could fit in these. And then once you're done, you can just put it in a poly bag, wrap some tissue paper around it, and then your customer will be happy. So I don't really have, like, a huge, huge inventory I figured three would be good, so this time will last a couple of months. I do go to them quick, especially around the holidays. I do make a lot of um, sales around November and December. The other one is a smaller one. It's a Ziploc seal. This one you could use it for freezing, but I just use it for small stuff that I sell. If I sell little trinkets or um, a scarf, um, a scarf or uh, socks or tie I could easily fit it to this little Ziploc bag same thing got that one <laughs> I got this one for me I love getting fuzzy socks and these are a dollar now other retail stores you could get them for like four or five bucks but for a dollar for these these are pretty good what I do at nighttime before I go to bed I usually put um, a little bit of coconut oil around my feet because my feet get really dry in the winter time and I just leave these on my feet all night long and they're pretty cozy it's not cheap um, it feels nice and for a dollar I mean if you have like lots of cousins or maybe your mother or an aunt or some nieces you could definitely put these little sockets these are really good so I got that one uh, let's see the other item I got, it's the first time I'm going to try it. It's a lint brush, $1. Um, I got it because I get a lot of like shirts at the Goodwill by the pound. I get stuff from the Salvation Army store. And sometimes they're not in like the best condition. They're, they're, they're like new, like pre with little defects, but there's a lot of hairs on them sometimes. So this is really good. So if you using the tape, I can just roll it around. Um, it's very sturdy, $1. It couldn't beat the price, so I had to get it. Let's see. Get too much. It's not really cost effective, honestly, because it's you're getting only two for a dollar, which is like fifty cents each. But I go to a lot of these. I do a lot of um, Amazon sales with DVDs and movies and books. Um, I like having these ones for emergency. If I run out other poly bags, if I sold something that you know it needs extra padded, instead of using all my bubble wrapper, I just put it in these envelopes. They're a dollar. Um, I do have a supply order that's coming in soon from eBay. I'll definitely do a box of that video. So I have that one. And <clears throat> the other one I have is a notebook. And I love the color, nice orange with some glitter um, zigzag design. I think it's really cute. Um, I bought this notebook so I could basically keep track of everything I bought uh, for the month of November. And what I wanna do is I wanna see how much money I'm spending a month for this Amazon and eBay merchant seller accounts. I wanna see if I'm actually making money. So this is something new I'm gonna be doing. So I got this because I'm thinking of next year, January, I've opened up my first eBay store. So I wanna try to keep track of how much money I'm spending if it's going to be the best decision for me. So that one was a buck have many different colors. I got this one for fall. I just like it. I love fall. Who doesn't like fall? The other one I got, I have these upstairs in my office. I will be doing an office tour. It's just, it's, I'm, I'm doing a lot of 
redecorating and organizing things. So right now I couldn't really show you guys. But I like getting these. They're really good. They're not like the best quality, but they're good if you put them on top of a shelf and if you add some DVDs into them, some books, light, light books. You don't want to add heavy books. It's going to break it. Um, if you have jewelry, if you want to sort out, and these ones are good. Um, if you have spoons that you sell it and things like that, you could definitely put them here and then you could just label it. Maybe put a little tag over it, just label it what it is. So that's that one. Yeah. And then I'll show you guys what these are. So something else I'll show you. And the last I the last well, I have two more. I got these two buckets and I I got this idea for someone I follow on YouTube. She's excellent. It's see and save and I searched in a video and she had these. And um, she basically sorts her clothes out. So I took her idea. I'm like, I'm going to do the same thing too. When I buy clothes at the Goodwill outlet or Salvation Army store, instead of keeping them in bags, I could just put them in baskets. And as I'm getting ready to take pictures of them and straighten them out. Um, I do not have like a press right now. I don't have um, like a steamer. That's something I'm saving up for. So that's why I keep track of my sales. I could see if I could get one. Um, the other item, this was for me, this is for my household. Um, I live in New England, and I don't know what grocery store, if you're watching, it's big around the area. Market Basket is really big for us, New Englanders. Um, I bought this for Breeze. It's basically, it's um, Airfax Hawaii Aloha. It smells really good. I'm doing a lot of house cleaning tomorrow, so this is going to come in handy. And the other thing I bought for my eBay business. I brush Febreze. Now, you want to be careful with how you spray the Febreze on the clothes that you buy. I'm going to spray from a distance. Sometimes there's some type of like a odor smell in the clothes. And I will definitely put this in my listing. Um, I'll let them know the clothes is not washed. I'll let them know it has been sprayed with air freshener Febreze. Because some people have allergies to certain fragrance and stuff like that. So you want to be careful and make sure you list that in your listing. Because they might buy it and they may have like a bad reaction or something. And that could be a negative feedback on yours, even though you have good intentions, but they don't see it that way. Um, the other thing I bought was for me, I don't know, some people like seeing what people get and stuff. This was at the mall store, it's at the market, market basket. I bought mayo because I'm making mashed potato tomorrow for dinner. Um, and that's basically it. I spent about $13, and actually spent $12.65 because this is our count part of my uh, business spending. So that is my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I had a great time doing lots of thrifty shopping. I do have a haul video for Salvation Army Store. I also have one coming up for Savers. I can't wait for next week, guys. I have a lot of things to talk about, a couple of videos to do, so please stay tuned. Um, if you like this um, haul for a Dollar Tree, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know if you found any great uh, buys at your local Dollar Tree uh, for your business. I would like to see because I know a lot of times I even experience it's going from town to town. Uh, some Dollar Trees will have certain things and some won't. So that's, that's it, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.